So your first step is a good shampoo. Now this one right here is the Renew Shampoo. It's good for all hair types. It's going to give you a very luxurious scent, and it's going to help you remove all of that product from your hair. You're going to want to follow that up with the Purifying Vinegar Fragrance. Now this is going to help to close down the cuticle of the hair, and it's going to leave you with a beautiful shot. This is meant for my hair type, but I am going to help you put together the best product. friends welcome back to my channel and into my home so as you can see I've been up bright and early I'm putting together some content for my Instagram we've got some really good sales going on in my hair and my skincare businesses and I wanted to be sure to get that out nice and early this morning so now I'm gonna take you along and we're going to clean up this bathroom I also have some organization that I want to do in here right underneath the bathroom sinks and um, basically just get it freshened right back up. So Bethany was over here yesterday and we did some highlights and some color. We had little boys running around underneath our feet. So this bathroom is a mess. So let me take off my shirt, put my hair up and let's get busy. So there was a time in the not so distant past that I didn't keep any products here on the counter. Now um, I also found that if I didn't have them here, I didn't use them. And what good is it to have products if you're not going to use it, right? So I went ahead and I found a pretty tray. I think I found this one at TJ Maxx. It's a marble tray. It's very heavy. It's got a gold gilded here on the side. And I just put all my most loved and used products that I use every single day right here. That way I'm sure to not miss a day, a morning, an evening without doing all of my favorite products. Took 
some time, but we point it out That tomorrow isn't here right now, baby An absent mind came to roam around Captured you in a foggy cloud, baby Standing on my toes on the edge, I'm ready to go See it clear when the shadows are lit, I'm ready to go Okay, so Michael's side takes a beating. Right here's the door, and everything just comes in and, and sits right here. This is also where we did um, all of the color. We we face this mirror, so I've got my color stuff there, and um, I had a neck issue <laughs> this week, so Madeline loaned me that little gadget thing that goes bing, 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 bing on your back. Anyways, um, that's a great product. So I need to put that away and just get his side cleaned up.
So this is the cabinet on Michael's side of the bathroom. It is the largest cabinet, so that's why I keep all of the cleaning products here, um, all of our medications, all of our band-aids, and things like that. Now, these are not working for us, so I'm gonna do something different here, but I need to get in here and I need to take out the things that we are definitely not using, <laughs> and then um, just start fresh in here, and we'll start right here with these things. So your tears been running like a waterfall Thought the stars would never let you down And you keep on thinking you could save yourself But that's love, that's just love you should know some things will hurt So many band-aids, I cannot tell you. <laughs> um, I think that Michael may have bought some at Costco. We do have a lot of grandkids, so we have a lot of grandkids over here. And I want to be sure we've got everything we need, but I think we might have like too many, but we'll get that worked out, right? Even if you don't know when, and it feels like the world is coming down on you, you have to move on, deal with your broken heart. Get enough of love
comes to love Of those drawers I'm going to go ahead and use these much larger drawers this is from the brand the home edit these are their grab-and-go drawers they're very large um, so it's one large bin and one drawer frame um, in each of these containers um, I do like how large they are that way I don't have a bunch of different small drawers everything is just in two large drawers okay just got them out of the package just stand them on top of each other. They're nice and sturdy. I think I'm going to start with the band-aids and things here at the bottom. Uh, and I just need to figure out how I'm going to categorize these. Well, that doesn't even have anything in it, so it does away with that one. These are all the flexible ones. I wonder if I have any other flexible. These are also flexible. So let's open this package. And then we will put these big ones into here. Okay, that one. These are the tough strips. These are the water block ones. Okay. These are also water block. So I wonder if I can fit these. Let's see. This box looks nicer. Let's see if these can go in here. I don't think so, but let's see. put them all in here instead. Let's remove this flap. thought we did because we got rid of those other boxes all right so now let's do gauzes these gauze pads you know you you hope you never need those things but you're glad you have them when you do need them right so here's let's see this is round gauze and this is gauze pads I if that'll go I'll go in there if I take it out, I can stick them like that. There we go. And these, these have never even been opened. 
These are God's, God's paths. No, God's rules. I do like that they're individually wrapped. That keeps everything pretty sanitary. I'm just stick those in there. Don't want it to be easy to get the band-aids out without disrupting the other things, all right? Okay. There we go. Roll that down there. Now, I am all done. Just cut this little sit right there. Okay. So I'm all done there. Now, I'm just going to put some medications and things like that up here. They don't have to be all aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, it's nice, but I just really need a spot that I can um, send somebody to if I know that they need something. It's like, hey, go in the top drawer underneath the sink and it's got all the medications and they can scrounge through here. They're not too worried about doing it because it's not so neat and perfect that they don't feel like they can't get in there and get what they need. So... Sometimes things don't have to be Pinterest perfect, in my opinion. I had this over on my side and I used to hold all of my curling irons and things like that in there. However, it wasn't big enough. So I went ahead and moved it over on this side and this is where we put all of our lotions. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out.
And I'm going to go ahead and put it right here on this side. It does roll out. It's got rollers on the bottom. So I'm going to sit it over here on this side so we can easily get to it. Now, over here in this little extra area, I'm going to go ahead and put that um, pound, pound, pound thing. I don't know what to call it. That little boom, 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 boom thing. I'm going to go ahead and stick that right over here. And we also have a TENS unit, and I will stick that over here. Let me wipe it down. It's a little bit sticky. Get it all cleaned up. All right. I'm going to stick that. I wish I could stick them side by side, but it's a little bit too, too big, and I can't scoot this over anymore. So I like this better because I can just pull it straight out. The other ones, it had to come up over this lip, and it just it was difficult. So that looks good. Okay, and then right over in this section is where I'll keep the hydrogen peroxide and the alcohol, things like that. This one's almost out. Let's see. I can actually go ahead and put both of those into one. See if I can do this without a funnel. Be sure it's update, yes. Okay. That can go right here. I'll put the eyeglass cleaner wipes right there. These are Michael's extra hair products and things that we take on vacation, the traveling ones. Then I'm just going to go ahead and straighten all this up and um, vacuum underneath there and give it a good wipe down. I found one more. I'm going to go ahead and keep this in the spray bottle version because we might need that like that. All right. OXO turning table, and I'm going to show you here why I like it so much. Let's get it cleaned off. Okay, I like it because it is on a big wheel. Do you see? It's not just a small wheel like you see a lot of them. The bottom of it is actually larger than the actual turning table. So that way, this thing does not tip. You see what I'm saying? That's the reason why I like this one so much in comparison to all those other ones. Now underneath my bathroom sink, mine has tall sides um, and I like that so that the products don't fall over. But for my cleaning, I like to just use that right there. Keep it real, try to focus, what's the deal? Don't say it's hopeless, remember the good times. Is it worth fighting for? You say you're sorry, I don't know why You're too proud to work it out You think time will tell And sort things out But you know well that I never will if you a little backwards I wasn't going to do it and then I thought Michelle just go ahead and do it 
So I bought these little gadgets and these help with the soft close of the doors. Um, we ended up not buying soft closures for our doors because to add all those up is just expensive. Um, we did do the soft close um, drawers in our kitchen, um, but we didn't go through the added expense of doing the cabinet doors. So I did find these on Amazon and I'm gonna try them out and let's see how they work. So I've seen some people put it right here in the corner and I've seen some put it over here, but I think I'm gonna try mine in the corner and let's see how this works. Okay, I'm gonna start right here by drilling a pilot hole. And I'm going to put a screw right through that. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so trying to line this up with that pilot hole is gonna be impossible. So I'm gonna to try to just be very careful and put that in the hole and see if I can screw it in there. Now it is a little precarious because it's kind of at a slant, so that's weird. Let's try. and tight all right I'm going to show you on this one this little screw dictates how far this is going to come out okay so I removed the screw off of that other one now I'm just going to put that back on so you just screw it right back in that hole then we need to see how far we need this to come out let's see how it works So it needs to come out a little bit further. Nice. Wow, that was super easy to put in too. Let's try it again. Oh, very nice. Okay, let's do the other side real quick. I've been trapped like curious minds and I've, I've been looking for a way out into the spark. Okay, so the second one took me quite a bit longer to put in here. Um, I ended up having to stick it a little further away from the door. I also had to um, screw that screw out further because I think that maybe this door might be sitting out further than the one on the other side. See, this one right here is a little bit closer to the door um, because that's where I was able to screw it in. And then the screw for this thing it is out a little bit further, so this isn't sticking out as far, but I think it's compensating for the door and maybe for how close it is to the door. So either way, they both work, and now I won't hear the slamming of the door when you shut these cabinet doors, so that's nice. Now, here on my side, I have double doors, and I only have enough of those soft closures to do three doors, so one of them's gonna be left undone until I can get some more. Okay, so I'll be the first to admit that they're a little cumbersome to put on, but
but they really do make a difference. Listen. Nice. They didn't cost a lot of money. They're just a little cumbersome to do. It would be better if you had two people to help. One can hold and the other one can use the screw gun. So, all right. So anyways, this is what's underneath my cabinets. I do keep them pretty orderly, but I need to get in here and just get out some stuff that I'm not using. Shampoo and conditioner back there has, has been there since the last time I cleaned this out on camera. So I just need to get in there and get those out. I'll probably move them to the other bathroom for guests. And then here on this side is where I keep, you know, my body products and things like that. So we'll get in here and get these things out and just get this a little more organized. Down in the world below. Hey, hey, now I can reach out and touch the sky. Cause you make me fly like a hummingbird into the night. Just had no clue until I first laid my eyes on you. And now I never have to free. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through these things and see what I want to keep and what I'm getting rid of. Okay, I use my castor oil all the time. I have a whole new skin system that I use. I'm no longer using this, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of the facial scrub. Not good for people who have rosacea, so I don't really need that. Um, jojoba oil, but I think this is probably expired now. I don't see it, but I know that I've had it for quite a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Same with the rose um, hip oil. I've had this for a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. This right here is to help put self tanner on your hands and, you know, things like that to get in between the cracks and things. All right. So let's see. This I think needs to go over under Michael's side. These are my self tanners. I put them together, but there's two different kinds. This one is the two hour express and this one you can sleep in overnight. So can't mix those. These go here. This is another skin thing that I'm not using. Um, witch hazel, but it's been in there a while. Um, it's yellow. I don't even think that it's good anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I do use this. This is my, um, my SPF that I use underneath my makeup, but I'm going to go put that in my makeup stuff. This right here is Aztec clay really good for your skin and for some other things, but I haven't been using it, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Build a tan, um, I use these, so I'm not using this, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Um, same thing, I used to use this on my skin, I'm no longer using it, and it, it went out of date in 22, so I get rid of that. Aloe vera gel, I'll put this with the sunscreens um, and not underneath my cabinet. Same thing with the sunscreen. We have an area for that in the other bathroom. Healing ointment um, for the baby's diaper rash. That should go in with the kids' stuff. Um, squalene oil. I've always loved this, but again, I'm using a whole different system, and I've had this a while, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Um, same thing with the daily um, oil-free hydrating lotion. I need a lot of hydration in my skin, so the oil-free never worked for me. And then we've got that. And this is good if you have really, really dry skin in areas, you can put this on and it will, it will help with that. Dry cracked heels, things like that. So let's go ahead and clean this out. I don't want to use my vacuum in it because I see some oil down in there and I don't want to suck that up. So I'm just gonna wipe it out. Wipe the edges here. Now, this is the kind that I don't really like. You see the small? So if, if you don't have something heavy in the center, this thing gets tippy. Um, I went ahead and kept it. I bought it off of Amazon and I kept it um, because I don't have a lot of heavy things in this one. So I just went ahead and kept it. But anyways, that's the difference between this one and the one over on Michael's side. Plus, this one has the high edges, which I like. No need to pour no gasoline into the fire now for our love to burn. Cause the flames are ready high and all over the world. We don't need no fuel or fire for our love to burn. Yeah, the flames are ready. 
Okay, these are all essential oils. Again, I've had these for years. And I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the whole lot. Because I'm not in here using them. And I'm just really tired of holding on to things that I don't need. So, let's get rid of those. This is what I use for my castor oil packs. So, I'm going to keep these. This is another um, lotion that's just like this one. It's a replacement of that one. A toothbrush holder when we go on vacation. And then here's a thing of candles that I use on the edge of the tub when I am taking a bath. This is to replace all my dental floss picks up in my drawer. Another candle. Um, this is the shampoo. I don't need this. Um, I like this soap. Um, for my bath, so I'm gonna put that in here and then I'll put this right here. These are all my backups. Okay So that's getting rid of a lot. Now I just have those and then I have my castor oil stuff right here and I think I'll just go ahead and stick my castor oil in with this That way I just have everything together Right there This is backup. Do I have any other backups that I can put in here? No. Okay. Oh, let's put my toothbrush holder right there. All right. Now let's clean out from underneath the cabinet. Okay, that looks really nice. This is free to spin. I like that. Got rid of a lot of things that I don't need. And this just feels so much better. Okay, I already opened this up and pulled out this one. This is all my hair stuff. And let's go through here and see what I want and what I don't want. This is the Big Sexy um, Root Plump. I don't like this. I used it for um, Bethany's wedding. We used it on the girl's hair. But I'm going to go ahead and pass this to one of the girls because I don't use it. Um, this is the Intense Hold Hairspray. Again, it was for the wedding. I don't use it personally, so I don't need it in here. This is the Flexible Hold. I do use this one, but the top needs to be cleaned. You see how it doesn't? So I need to get in there and clean that top. This one is the working spray. Both of these are the same. So um, I can finish this one and then use this top on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of those. This right here is a dry shampoo. So there's still some in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. I do like um, the Chi Shine Infusion. I don't use it very often, but I do like it. This is an all-in-one coconut infusion and it, um, it's a, like a multi um, benefit spray. You can use it on wet or dry hair. It's like a leave-in conditioner. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass this on to one of my um, girls and they can use it on their kids' hair or on their hair when it gets tangly. This is another working spray. Obviously, I like working sprays. These are what I've been using at night to hold my hair. Um, doesn't leave marks in the hair super soft and um, you can lay on it and it's almost like a pillow okay so here's the the kids johnson and johnson no more tangles um, i no longer need this because i have one that i use in the product line that i work with this right here is the silkening um, gloss by um, kendra i know my daughter bethany would love to have this so i'm passing that on to her these are also um it is the same thing as the root pump, except for it's done in a, in a powder. This is the volumizing 
um, powder. I'm going to pass all these on to my kids. That's a dry shampoo. I'll save that. But I'm going to pass these on to my girls because I don't need them. And it's time to get them out of here. This one's old. I used to use this all the time, but I no longer use it. And um, it's probably out of date. So I'm going to get rid of that. This is the nightcap. I used to use this all the time, but I use a whole different product line now. So I'm going to pass this on to one of my daughters. Um, the Iron Guard, this is a heat protectant. I'll pass that on to my daughters. And here's a bunch of bobby pins from the, the wedding. I will be saving these because you never know when you're going to need a bobby pin, right? These are Velcro rollers that I use on occasion. It's another thing of Chi oil. These right here, um, you would use these in your hair if you've got like product buildup on it. Or um, the swimmers will help to get out the, the swim smell of the chlorine and any green hair if you have blonde hair. Um, this will help to remove that. So I'm going to keep those since we have a pool. Now let's go ahead and get this cleaned out and then I'll put everything back in here that I'm going to keep and we'll um, continue on in this cabinet. So in here, like I said, this is where I keep all my curling irons, things um, like that. All my hot tools are in here. I like it because I can roll it right out, get what I need, and then push this right back in. So I don't need to clean this out. This is a fairly new bucket. I just need to roll it right back in there. Okay, so this is how I'm going to keep it. So much better. Got all my brushes right there. This right here is to put on my counter so that um, any of the hot tools doesn't burn my counter. So then this right here, just pull it out, get what I need. Perfect. Now all I need is to get the little bumper things for this one and then this whole cabinet will be complete. All right, now I got to clean up this floor. I hope that you like this video. I just wanted to show you that you can get a lot accomplished in just a little bit of time. So just go through your house, find some areas that need a quick clean, get in there and get it done. All right, if you like this video, would you please give me a big thumbs up? And if you haven't already subscribed, click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. I'll see you again in next Sunday's video. Until then, stay blessed my friends.